didn't, it didn't shake me up. I've been in lots, lots of uh, other uh, wild experiences. 95-year-old Robert Galen was repairing his porch when an unwelcome guest stopped by. He grabbed this piece of lumber from his yard when he spotted the fox just feet from him. This was a more formidable looking beast uh, than I was accustomed to seeing. He lives back off the road in the woods and is used to seeing wild animals, but heard about the other rabbit animals in the area after a woman was attacked last week. So Galen didn't take any chances. He used this piece of wood to whack the fox in the head. I had a weapon and I struck it on the head immediately. Uh, didn't give it a chance to open its mouth. He laid a plank uh, over the animal's and, uh, body until it eventually died. Police came to take the fox away. They later confirmed what they all suspected. The fox tested positive for rabies. Really anywhere in Brunswick at this point, people need to be aware that the virus is in town and it, it could be in animals in your neighborhood. Brunswick Animal Control wants people to be careful, watch out for kids, and make sure pets get their rabies vaccine. But even Galen's encounter with a sick animal won't stop him from enjoying where he lives. I'll continue to do what I do in my yard, and I'm not going to worry about encountering another wild animal. Animal Control wants to remind residents not to feed the wildlife, and if they do see an animal acting strangely, they can call police.